So the option of creating a side by side bar chart is present here in the show me tab. And uh, this is basically an option. So last option in the third row. So for side by side bar, uh, in the end, as you can see, it needs one or more dimension and one or more measures. So it requires at least three fields. So let's try creating it with the help of uh, two dimension. So let's say we select region and product subcategory and we want sales, right? Once we have selected this, we go to show me and click over here. And here we have the side by side bar chart. So currently, uh, how it is, how you can read it that within the central, these are the different products of categories and accordingly the bars, these are the bars based on their sales. Same is the case in East, West and South. If you want to swap this information to look in from the look and feel perspective, you can click over here. And uh, now you can, I think, read it much better because pretty much all the product subcategories are coming. And uh, if you want to sort it, uh, let's say in the descending manner, so you can click over here and uh, it shows descending uh, in a descending uh, way. So with that, uh, you that's how it's simple or uh, quick and easy of for creating a side by side bar chart um, another thing is that uh, currently on the color card you have a subcategory as the or the product subcategory as the colors information as it is coming over here you can remove that and uh, if you have any other uh, details in the mind uh, let's say for example from a profit perspective you want to color your uh, bars then you can do that so it's not really uh, mandatory that uh, you should have whatever is pre-configured for you and as you can see uh, it is starting from minimum to maximum and accordingly your bar chart is basically colored similarly uh, if you have uh, let's say want to show the labels so you can put sales over here and you get the labels information and uh, yeah pretty much you know uh, again size i have shown in my previous videos you can change the size by just going to dropping the value over the uh, size uh, card and here based on the size you can see where you are giving the most discount so here in this case binders is giving uh, is having more discount followed by phones here in the east region uh, and in central after binders it is more of a furnishing which is getting a huge discount so that's how you can really modify and make it more visually intuitive and uh, useful for your end user so that's that's a quick side by side bar chart i wanted to show you in this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic